At first glance, it could be a gathering of gamers, but there's little fun at this conference. In fact, the subject matter is so sensitive, so confidential, that we can't show you much of the gear or the people inside this exhibit hall. We're in Tampa at the Special Operations Forces Industry Conference. As you walk the floor, you see the, uh, the where technology is coming. Much of what Victor Torla does for Lockheed Martin involves training Special Forces teams for missions. It is likely that the team that took out Osama bin Laden was able to use simulators like these to practice for the mission over and over again. You are part of that mission that's taking place, and uh, there's probably very little difference other than knowing you're in a simulator. Also on display here, robotic cameras that allow teams to have an eye in the sky on the ground. Robotic equipment carriers that will automatically follow troops into battle. Then there's Hulk, a revolutionary exoskeleton system that allows troops to carry heavy equipment without feeling fatigued. When you think about it, troops today, both Marines and soldiers, are carrying somewhere between 96 and 130 pounds when they're fully loaded. This system gives that, them the ability to carry that feel like they're not carrying anything. Of course, no special forces team would be complete without things that go boom. That's where Miguel Cordero comes in. His Tampa-based company manufactures grenades for use in special operations environments. It also helps to soften targets. So as it's softening targets, it's allowing the, uh, our men and women in uniform to be able to engage them and slowly make their way or rapidly make their way towards them and, and finish the job. Exactly the kind of firepower special forces teams need to take out high-profile targets like bin Laden. Jason Bronis, Associated Press, Tampa, Florida.